So incentive compatibility is a thing in economics. And how would you explain that in normal terms for people who don't understand economics? And how does that look like in a game context? So it's kind of weird because um, from the game designer's point of view, I would consider something incentive compatible if the incentives in the game, let's say there's a monster that you should go kill and there's a level up scheme that you do in order to get better and be able to kill bigger monsters. That incentive mechanism should, it should be incentive compatible. And that means that you're encouraged to play the game that it's the way it's supposed to be uh, be played. And it's very much the same in uh, economic design. Uh, when you're designing an experiment and experimental economics, for example, you always want to test uh, kind of the game theoretic solution to make sure that the design is actually incentive compatible. So if you think about like the prisoner's dilemma, the prisoner's dilemma is an incentive compatible uh, game. It means there's no degenerative kind of solution where the best solution, the best strategy for a player is to do nothing. That's not really a good game and it doesn't get at the objective of the game. So that's a non-incentive compatible uh, design. Now, this might sound like you're saying you're trying to force people to make decisions. You're not making people, you're not forcing people to make decisions. You're just trying to make sure that they, that the game exists. So incentive compatibility makes sure that the game exists in the most, in the optimal strategies. You know, there's an optimal strategy that's not do nothing. Um, that's usually how I think of incentive compatibility. So let me try to explain incentive, incentive compatibility in a non-gaming context. So maybe uh, some of you might find it easier to understand. So imagine you're a teacher and you have a classroom full of students and you want the students to do the homework and come prepared for class. And some of the students might copy people's homework or they don't want to do that. They don't want to do the homework. So incentive compatibility is to get to find a reason to get each of these students to do their homework without cheating or being lazy and just forget about it. So this could be something like giving them gold stars for doing the, the good work. And after you get 10 stars, you get to choose what is the what is the the song we sing today in class, for example. So in economics, that is incentive compatibility. So it's setting up the rules or, or incentives or mechanisms to get people, to motivate people to act in the best way for the group, regardless of what other people are doing. So don't cheat, don't take shortcuts. You want them to do the behavior you, you're incentivizing them to do. And that is the best for them personally as well. So it's basically a, a specific kind of game theory mechanism where you want people to do the best work despite of what other people are are going to cheat or not cheat. Right.